So now that we have talked about um, the Clausius uh, Clapeyron equation, let's actually do some calculations with it and how to use it. This is the form that we will be using. Again, don't memorize this, just, just don't. Um, there are a few key things about it. Remember, we're gonna be using R equals 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. As you know from all of my lectures, units are our friends units are very important keep track of them they keep you from messing up and making silly errors okay so this is a two-point form we also need to talk about something that is called the critical point so the critical point this is um, a temperature and pressure where the liquid and the gas both have the same density. So, you know, normally a liquid is more dense than a gas. Well, if you raise the temperature and the pressure both so much, you actually can't tell when they have the same density, which what is a liquid and which is the gas. Um, so that's what a critical point is. But let's try to do, utilize some of these, uh, this equation here. So methanol has a normal boiling point of 64.6 degrees Celsius and its normal heat of vaporization, 35.2 kilojoules per mole. What is the vapor pressure of methanol at 12 degrees Celsius? Now, remember, before we start, we got a little bit of work to do here. So remember that R equals 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. Now, the key thing here is if you go, wait a minute, Dr. B, it gave us these temperatures in Celsius and this says we gotta be in Kelvins. Exactly, so you have to be in Kelvins. Okay, and we need to match up our pressures and our temperatures. So P2 and P1 and T2 and T1. Because if we get them backwards, we're going to get the wrong answer, okay? Now, so here, this is, so we need to add, let's, first of all, let's, let's add 273. So 64.6 plus 273. So 337.6. And so this is normal, so we're gonna call this uh, T1. Uh, so that makes this T2. And so now we need to get that in Kelvin. So 12 plus 273, you probably did that in your head, 285. 285 Kelvins, okay. So T2, let's write out our P2, P1, negative delta H, vaporization over R, one over T2 minus one over T1. Okay, there's a couple other things we need to do here. All right, so remember T1 goes with P1. So we're gonna be solving for P2. So what is P1? This is normal, so we're gonna go with STP. And in this case, normally we would use one atmosphere, but we're gonna use the millimeters of mercury uh, because it's gonna distinguish a little bit better. It's a little bit easier to compare. So normal pressure, atmospheric pressure, 760. Hopefully you remember that conversion. Now, here's something else that's important. Negative, so make sure you put the negative in. Heat of vaporization, 35.2. Now that says kilojoules. What is your unit for R? to get them to cancel out. Joules. So now, so you can either do this calculation separately or you can just say times a thousand and put your joules in there. And then let's divide by uh, 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. The only thing I don't like about this is the moles don't really go away that I have found, but, uh, oh yeah, they do, because it's joules per mole. That's what they go away. So moles will go away, joules will go away, kelvins don't go away yet. So one over T2, again, label the problem, one over 285 
minus 1 over uh, 337.6 Kelvin and Kelvin. And see, that's going to, that, these Kelvins are in the denominator. This one is in the denominator denominator, which throws it back up into the numerator. That's how they're going to cancel. Now, from here, now that we have got everything plugged in with our adaptations, it's really just a matter of algebra. So let's figure out this. Now, the way that I do it may be different than how you put it in your calculator, but bear with me. So I'm going to do this first. So I'm going to say 1 over 285 minus 1 over 337.6. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to multiply times negative 35.2 times 1,000. Now I'm going to divide uh, by R. We don't have R. That's okay. So now I get natural log P2 over 760 millimeters of mercury is negative 2 point, uh, I'm, we're just going to round to 3, 1. And this is just a number because all of our units have now canceled out. Okay? Make sure you keep the negative. Now the next thing we need to, need to um, undo is the natural log. So remember to undo the natural log, that means you take E to this power. So undo the natural log, that leaves us with P2 over 760. Do not multiply by 760 yet. Put this in parentheses if that makes it easier for you. Order of operations. This, has, this is like an exponent kind of thing. Okay, equals E to the negative 2.31. Okay, so now take my calculator has a button here where it says E to the X. So I'm going to take E and I'm just going to plug in that answer. Um, so you can copy and paste, you can round. It's going to be close. So again, how you round, I care that you can show me the process. Um, if we disagree on our, on our numbers a little bit, it's probably going to be okay. Okay, so now we have an answer here. Now to get P2 by itself, so here we can multiply by 760. And that goes away. So here if we multiply by 760 on both sides, and then we get our units back. Okay, so that leaves us with P2 equals, so times 760, 75.1, why not? 75.1 millimeters of mercury. Yours may be slightly higher, slightly lower, depending on how you round. Did you get this correct? Hopefully so. So now let's try another one. Propane has a normal boiling point of negative 42 and heated vaporization 19.04. What's the vapor pressure at 25? Okay, so we're going to follow the same process here. Let's convert to Kelvins first. So negative 42 plus 273, that is 231. So again, normal, so that's going to be T1. We have a heat of vaporization, so we're going to need to multiply this by a thousand to get joules, to get joules. And then our vapor pressure here, 25 plus 273 should be 298. So this here is 298 kelvins, and that's going to be T2. So same process, it's just plugging and chugging, P2 over P1 equals negative delta H vaporization over R, 1 over T2, 1 over T1. Okay, so now plug and chug, you can do this. Again, it's just a little bit of nasty math. It's not near as hard as calculus, I promise. Solving for P2, P1, normal atmospheric pressure, 760 millimeters of mercury, equals 
negative 19.04 times a thousand joules per mole over 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. So joules, joules per mole. And T2, one over 298 minus one over 231. Kelvin, Kelvin. Now the Kelvins are gonna go away. Okay, now that we're doing this, let's plug it into the calculator. See how I can get this to work. Now again, I'm gonna do mine uh, starting with the fractions. One over 298 minus one over 231. Now I'm gonna multiply times negative 19.04 times a thousand. Again, don't forget your negatives. Divided by R and I got a number. Now notice this time I got a positive number. So you may get a positive number, you may get a negative number. That's why it's important to distinguish between and match up your temperatures and your pressures. Label them, get oriented to the problem. This time I got 2.23. So now that means P2 equals undo the natural log, 2.23, then multiply by 760 millimeters of mercury. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do again, um, e to the whole answer. So again, how you how you get this might be um, a little bit different. And now times 760. Ooh, that is a very high pressure. Look at that. So that is 7060 millimeters of mercury. So notice this is a very low vapor pressure. This is a very high vapor pressure. So here, propane boils really low. That's where vapor pressure equals atmospheric pressure there. So if it's already that high at this low temperature, at room temperature, much higher pressure. 